Hey everybody, it's RF Tech Guy here, and today I'm going to be uh, showing you guys how to print this Tipman speed loader, the hopper and uh, lid. Uh, I have had a couple people ask me on my on my speed loader video if I could release the file, so I finally released the file on Thingiverse. So since I did run into some issues, I, I do have some uh, special printing instructions. So the hopper hopper itself is pretty simple. I have it laying down for some reason. Maybe I should just uh, automatically. I'm sure there had to be an easier way. I was trying to find an easier way to do this, but I don't know how to do it yet. So I'm just going to rotate it uh, the old fashioned way. So I'm using the Cura, the Ultimaker Cura 3D slicer, and we're going to flip it 90 degrees. And right there, it should be flat on the on the bottom. The good thing about the hopper is you actually don't need anything else to print the hopper. You just need uh, it doesn't need a um, a raft or anything so I'm gonna take the raft off of there the raft could actually uh, cause issues to the point where it might fall off during the print so we're just gonna not have the raft on there so we're gonna be printing this with regular PLA and we do not want to print at super quality we want to print at low quality we don't need to generate support so layer height 0.28 uh, 20% infill which there's pretty much going to be basically no infill because I think the layer is about two millimeters it, it, It's essentially going to be no infill Everything looks good uh, 200 degrees you can already slice it there you go And you can see it's going to take about 12 hours and 15 minutes to print uh, unfortunately, that's the um, The fastest I can make the print so we're going to go in here. We're going to export and you always want to export this to uh, G code. And we're going to go to the Ender 3. This is the Lego Mars. This is for, um, this is a resin printer. That's a whole other video. All right, as you can see, I already did generate one, but I was having issues the other day uh, generating a, a G code file. So we're going to redo it. We're going to go to the speed load lid. This is where the instructions get a little bit different. So depending on, t on the type, of TPU you buy I will be leaving some links down in the description so the type of TPU that I'm going to be using for my print I'm going to do about uh, 220 degrees again when you buy TPU you can look at their specific instructions and and the temperature they require to print so we're going to do uh, 220 degrees because I found that that's actually the best for the TPU that I am currently using 220 degrees Celsius uh, I want a uh, to make my build plate 60 degrees that way that we make sure that the um, TPU sticks so if you're using uh, T if you're printing TPU on older 3d printers uh, there is some suggestions that I have and I will show you that later on in this video uh, like uh, my ender 3 I actually had to uh, modify my feeder my uh, the, the filament feeder to like an aluminum one because it came with plastic so on the old, older model that was on here it was a uh, plastic piece that came with a regular Ender 3 uh, and there was a lot of space left in between uh, where the filament goes in and and where it comes out so it was leaving a lot of space for the TPU to just come through here and get tangled up out here and it would just get stuck and create a big mess so I ended up replacing it for this aluminum one and it it works very well with the TPU that uh, I haven't had any issues with it and that actually solved a lot of my TPU printing issues we do not I don't like the skirt ever I think a skirt or brim is like the worst thing you could use uh, for printing almost anything I've only used it on one item anyways so on this one we're going to be using a raft Oh, again, I forgot to do this, but uh, we're going to flip this 90 degrees. So there we go. Now it's laying flat and it's going to be on a raft and we will be generating support material and just f touching the build plate. And on this one, you're probably going to want to do 50 to 100 percent infill only because you are printing with TPU um, and you're going to want it to, uh, you're going to want, there's a little, there's a little thing on the top 
of the uh, lid that presses down on a button in the magazine for the Tipman uh, paintball um, projectile causer uh, thingy. YouTube gets a little, uh, they get a little sensitive about using the G word. Uh, last one I, uh, my, the last video I posted about this subject uh, was limited monetization. I, I tried to um, argue it, the case, but uh, they weren't having it. Well, anyways, let's get on with the subject. So on this one, we're actually going to go higher in resolution. Uh, the lid is smaller, so we can get away with putting more detail into it. We can't get away with low quality, though, unfortunately. You can do two. Uh, you can do standard quality or dynamic, or super quality, uh, depending on that. But I would not suggest uh, low quality for the lid. So I think for this video, I'm gonna do um, standard quality. Uh, do not discard changes. Keep changes. Yeah, should not. Some people lower the fan speed. I don't see that that's actually necessary to lower the fan speed for the um, for the TPU, so I'm not going to do it. All right, so let's try exporting the file again. Oh, I forgot to slice it. Blah. What is wrong with my brain? <laughs> there you go. So right here, it's showing about four hours and one minute uh, for uh, standard uh, two-layer height. So we're going to export the file, uh, of course, change it to G code and overwrite this file and slice. Yes, we want to overwrite the file. Thank you. Hey, everybody, RF Tech Guy here coming to you from my recording studio, a.k.a. my minivan, uh, because my house is kind of crowded and small. So um, I just wanted to show you guys the finished product here. This is what it looks like. Um, in printed in TPU, of course, this is a type of the color TPU that I'm printing with at the moment. I do have a new uh, clear green TPU that that I'm sure is going to look awesome. Uh, that I would love to show you guys in uh, one of my later videos. This is what the finished product look, looks like, and even though it's TPU and a flexible material, let me show you this real quick. This is flexible, so it does not break the lip of this uh, PLA hopper. So even though it is flexible, you can still press that down. It still presses the down the, uh, the little button to open up this chamber and release the paintballs in. And then you just go, that would be nine and then 18. This hopper is actually easy to fill. You just drop the paintballs in there and it'll kind of scatter around all these things. They will not fit in this center hole. I have not figured out what to do with that little section yet. So again, I am giving this uh, STL file away for free. If you guys want to go over there to Thingiverse and download it, uh, you can leave uh, tips in, in there and uh, that would uh, really help me out, especially since I'm pretty sure that I will have limited monetization on this video uh, because YouTube does not like paintball. Actually, I think they don't like the G word or anything that looks similar to a real uh, G word. Um, yeah, so that's that's probably what it is. If you guys can't leave a tip or anything on Thingiverse, you guys can always go and subscribe to RF Kids TV. That would help. Um, also, you can uh, click the links in the description to get your uh, TPU and adapters for printing TPU if that if you guys need that. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Oh, wait, wait, I almost forgot. So this is a resin printed hopper. This, this part actually costs like seven bucks because the resin, the, this resin, this particular resin is expensive. Uh, the, the resin I normally use is about half the price. Um, but yeah, they, if you guys wanna follow me for to see the resin videos, we got a resin printer going now, so that's pretty awesome. Pretty excited about it. So, yeah, see you guys next time. And, yeah, be sure to check out RF Kids TV. There is some cool stuff on there. I know it has a, a name like RF Kids, but there is some cool stuff on there. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.